brothers welcome back to territorial.io we are starting off today here in a 31 person free-for-all battle here in europe and we are all alone in africa there's a little buddy right down there and here comes buddy in the iberian peninsula but he is going to be a very scary person if nobody else comes down here i almost kind of want to challenge him for the center and did we get there in time we did okay good i was about to say i cannot just allow this one guy to get all of africa so we're going to try and challenge him for this. We do have Excel above us, but our positioning was not going to be optimal because uh, player 762 was going to have access to all of this over here without anyone challenging for it. So I felt like it was very necessary for me to get over here and try and do that, uh, not only for my sake, but for the whole lobby's sake. So let's uh, try and prevent this from becoming a steamroll and see if we can get through a little bit faster. We're going to start a little bit of an early infinite growth phase, just trying to continue getting big. And let's go again. And try and cut off player 762 if we could. No, that was a big pipe dream, but we'll go ahead and go into these two over here. And just continue to keep pushing to the east. That is my number one concern, is getting over into the east before he does. So let's keep doing this. Watch out for his troop count. Make sure that we are not expending troops unnecessarily while he looks to be in a saving mode. And he's trying to cut us off from going over here, which is perfectly fine, honestly. I'm not really that concerned with that area. I'm much more concerned with going over here to the east let's continue pushing into the bots though and fighting off where we can so let's push down here and we'll just completely cut him off from going anywhere over into the east now we will be fighting off a very strong angry person who has a lot of reason to not like us as we do have an early crown now hopefully we can partner with excel and excel will him and have borders but uh, we'll just kind of leave that for now as we've got more room to keep going in over here. And this is looking lovely for us. Let's just keep grabbing all of this land. This is tremendous for us as we've taken what we fear to be his snowball into our snowball. Now, we do just need to make sure we don't get teamed up in this exact moment. So we'll be very cautious with our troops, giving us a lot of time to build up as uh, Bamboo is finally coming over here. So we're going we're gonna to get challenged and we need to be aware of that. He's offering a truce. We will definitely take that. As Excel, no, not Excel. Okay, I thought that was Excel getting bullied in the Iberian Peninsula, but that is somebody else. Let's keep going in over here. Keep grabbing a lot of land. Bamboo will be a big challenge. He is the third strongest player in the world. And we are going to meet him here shortly. Let's just keep pushing into all these bots, making sure to grab as much land as we can. As we do approach 60,000 pixels, so anything that we get beyond this is going to be maximized very quickly. So we do see a little heart. Hello. How are you, sir? And, uh, ooh, you are fighting Excel. That is very good for me. I'll just go ahead and wait on this and probably join in here later as I do need to save up a little bit of troops. I might even fight Bamboo a little bit on the early side. Uh, you want me to go into Excel? Let me just keep saving up. I'll wait till he gets down to about 200,000. This fight won't help me out too much, and I don't really, I'm not really concerned with this guy. Let's go into him now. There we go. And... You two are about the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, do I really want to? Let's go into Excel. Let's move up. Let's move up a little bit. Romanian Empire is getting bullied. So maybe we can capitalize on that as we continue to keep pushing into Excel. Excel has full sent. Now let's go into the Roman Empire and grab all of this land in the Iberian Peninsula. And now we have to become incredibly strong very fast. And we can push into this man as well, who's also a little bit on the weak side. As we continue to get a lot of strength here and building up our ability to get a lot of troops yeah we're kind of becoming to the point of being unstoppable but we are still very much in a position of weakness where we do need to take out a lot of players very quickly now i might betray my friend i'm gonna i'm gonna let him stick around uh you're wanting a truce i will take a truce with you i'm gonna try and go into bamboo as soon as they get up to my maximum troop potential this guy's getting attacked. Okay, your mom is coming in. So if we can get to your mom early, that might be best. So let's go ahead and spend some troops to get through Bamboo and hopefully have borders with your mom. And as soon as we take out your mom, you know, we'll have a good time. We'll, you know, I'll treat her with respect. Don't you worry. <laughs> we'll hopefully be in a good position. I'm just kind of a little bit fearful of everybody attacking me at this point. But we did take out Bamboo. And now we can take out Salt in it and just continue to grab land. I will take a truce with you for the time being. As I am rather large and in charge, but not in a position where I can just steamroll. As he's actually pretty close behind me in terms of overall troops. Let's grab the rest of the Sultanate's land though. Just continue to expand our borders and our strength. And just wait on this. I'm going to build up my troops as much as possible. See if I can maybe grab some more land in France. Leave you to be my buddy. 
and hopefully that is not a mistake. I know I pro like strategically wise, I should take this guy out right now. All right, and I probably should have taken him out a little bit earlier too. But I'm going to trust him to be my friend. And ooh, let's also go into you. You want me to go into that guy? I want to take out the Russian Empire really quick. Just real quick. Okay, so we knock him off. Your mom does attack us, which was expected. And we are getting attacked by the bot, which is slightly unfortunate. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy's land. So he stops that. And we'll be able to kind of come back. Yeah, we will definitely take a truce with you. No, you've instantly betrayed us. Okay, let's take you out real quick. Just keep grabbing more land than we're losing here. And hopefully we don't die. As we do have the crown by a wide margin still, you're, he's going to keep attacking us and we're just going to keep saving up troops. I'm not that concerned as now our troops have started to level off. It's about if somebody else joins in, which is exactly what happened. So let's try and get truces with these two and just keep saving. He does give, they do both give us the truce, which is wonderful. So now we'll just save up to our maximum interest and hopefully be able to do something from here. But taking him out would have been the play. You want me to go after the Soviet Union? Um, charge. Go ahead. Do your thing. Where's the charge? There's the charge. I was looking right at it. So now it becomes a, a game of when do I attack? And there's not really a good point to attack. I need somebody else to help out. Let's see if you want a truce up there. Oh, Soviet Union became a bot. This Oh! That was the worst case scenario. Well, let's try and grab some of this land. Let's make sure that player 4792 and your mom get borders. So now that we can fight them together, let's say, hey, let's attack this guy. Are you down to clown on that? Let's get to maximum interest. We're close enough. Let's start attacking. Okay, he's in on it. That's great. Let's hopefully see some attacks from our friends. Let's inspire some aggression. Yes, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. That's why you let bygones be bygones. Everyone's in a playing in a position to try and win. Now, he might turn on us later when we have the crown, but this is kind of what we need to do for the time being is just give these little baby attacks in here. And he is attacking us, so hopefully these guys see that and be aggressive. As we are down by about 30,000 pixels. So we need to get a little bit more land, and he does attack, so let's counter that attack. And then you join in. Wonderful. Let's just keep up the pressure, boys. Keep up the pressure. Okay, you're going to keep attacking, which is great. I'm just going to keep holding until he changes targets. Now we'll go into you. There we go. And you're in. Let's go back into you. Keep holding. Keep holding. Go, go, go. And we have great borders on this guy. So if he does collapse, we'll be able to get most of it. As now he's getting really frustrated. And we're getting a lot of this land. And... Let's just hold on to this truce for now as we take back the crown and we start to really make some headway on this guy. He's down pretty bad, so I'm going to just grab the rest of this land so he, he can't get any more of it. Oh, there's a little bit of huge lag there. Okay, but now we've got your mom where we want him. We've got 12 million troops to his 6 million, so let's send half real quick just to bring him down. And now he's really on the ropes here. He's down to 3 million. He has less than you see me. And now he's a bot. Oh, huge win for the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just took your land so that he couldn't grab your land. I wasn't trying to uh, betray you by any means. Even though you did actually uh, betray me. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of this here. As we endure, again, some quite heavy lag spikes. But uh, that was a very close game. Oh, you're attacking my friend. Um... Don't. Don't attack my friend. Don't attack my friend. Let's take him out. Oh, he took out our friend. Let's take him out. Okay. We got him out the way. We kept our friend along the way, which again might have cost us the game if we didn't get to secure this alliance with his pink buddy. So we did manage to save him. Now these two are isolated, so we'll go ahead and peace out. We'll try and get a truce with you and just look for the peace. And as we wrap things up, I just want to say GG's to all involved. We'll go ahead and look for the peace here and move on to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a little team battle in the desert. We should have a teammate, and we do. That's really good to know. Let's go right here. Let's try and capture this. I'd love to move up more north, but okay, our teammates are on the same page as us. That's really good. We'll try, we'll stick here, try and capture as much land as we can over here. We're going to be mostly looking like we're going to be fighting the green team. 
that looks like it's going to be our arch nemesis as we'll have borders on both of them so i'm very hopeful my teammates will also get rather large because i did see that he has a red player in the, his corner over there two players over there so that's gonna be a big challenge for him to deal with so i'm gonna have to really kind of press into somebody over here is he's given the thinking emoji he sees me already and I think that they, these two are going to pincer attack me once we get borders on both of them. If there's an opportunity to block one of them, I might take that. But we'll see how things kind of go from here as he's saving up. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. And let's just keep grabbing land and expanding at a rapid, rapid pace. I don't think I played with this guy. I think he just recognizes me. Okay, and that was something I was a little bit concerned about. I was like, I just played a game. I was like, oh no, did I... Did I just take him out? People sometimes get hurt feelings about that, which is understandable. I will, I, you know, sometimes get mad when people take me out as well, but uh, let's just keep going down here and here and keep looking for an opportunity to grow. Let's take out these red bots. I'm very concerned that they're only going to have me to attack and I want to counter that before it happens. So let's just keep going here. Yeah, this one can only attack me. We do need to push through our yellow bots over here if we're going to stand a chance. Let's keep going. Let's try. We have a lot of yellow bots over here, unfortunately, surviving their attacks. So this is very concerning right here is there's a lot of free land. Let's push up here so Uncommon can't get it at the very least. Keep pushing into you. Okay, mission was very successful over there. So hopefully we're going to be able to prevent people from boating into our bots as well. Let's keep going here and here and then down here and then you. He has, he has a lot of troops, which he's been saving, which is a little bit on the scary side as we are now going to have to face both of them. And our teammate, unfortunately, doesn't look like he has made it through the beginning phases. So we'll keep, we have to go into these two bots right here and this bot, and hopefully that will be enough. We got to go into this bot as well. Just continuously, you want a truce, I'll take a truce because I do think I'm going to get attacked here very shortly. Let's grab these two bots and save up. Hopefully we can get a couple cycles in on the interest before we get attacked. You are attacking me right away. Which is a little bit surprising in all honesty. Because I can just do this and grab all your land. Oh, now you want a truce. I don't know if he recognized that I wasn't a player. Or that I was a, wasn't a bot. But he's going to go down because of that. So we do get that. But we are stuck between two very large green players. Let's see how the rest of the board's looking. Very strong, unfortunately for us. Let's just take out these two over here. And just grab all of this land. So we are again very weak. But hopefully we'll be able to build up and turn the tables on one of these green players. And hopefully there'll be some kind of counterbalance over there. But right now we just need to keep saving up our troops. Being very patient here. As I do also want to join in right here. Maybe. And just grab a little bit of land. Just in case this guy goes down. Because this guy's now a bot too. Which could be useful. I could grab all this land. You know what? I'm actually going to cancel that boat. Because this bot's going to want to attack me. And I don't want to have borders with three of the four strongest players on the board so we'll just be very patient here just keep building up our troops being being patient as yeah now he's coming down he's gonna be a huge threat oh, be a good teammate as he lets his teammate die <laughs> in all fairness i don't think there's a lot he could do in that situation to save his teammate yeah his, full, his teammate full sense on this guy we might take out this green player so we can you know what? Now I'm going to do this. If we can get over there. No, that boat's not going to make it. He's going to take it. Well, we are at full interest. So I think we go... We could go straight into you. Oh, he gives the big... Bigs the heart emoji. But he's never offered us a truce. I think we play the, play the smart and just take out this guy. And hopefully Italy doesn't take this as... Oh yeah, we definitely will take a truce with you. But yeah, no, I can't. I need your land. Claps to you. Broken heart. I'm very sorry, but I need your land. It makes very a lot of strategic sense to only have one player on the board of a team instead of two. So I'm thinking this is a smart move. It'll give me good borders with this guy in case the pink player tries to start his expansion. As we get the crown back, which is great, he full sends on this uh, player over here, which is also very wonderful. Let's save up our troops as much as possible because this guy's at 21 million, which is very spooky and scary. Now, if these two team up on me, I'm going to fight Italy. The reason I'm going to fight Italy is because, again, I don't want borders on this guy. He's sending a boat down right now. I see that boat. I think... We'll try and truce with you and get ready to repel this 
Now, you don't have to attack on the pixel. You can attack on the person. Take that down. Nope. Nope. Get him off. There we go. Okay, mission successful. We did spend a lot of troops getting that done, but that was very vital for us, as we do have troops truces with the rest of the board. These two could attack the pink player, which is puts him in a dangerous scenario. If that happens, I'm going to let it happen, and then maybe take out this guy over here. Here comes another boat. He's going to be a lot more aggressive this time. So let's try and fight this off. Oh, good. He's attacking. So we're going to get some big attacks in. Let's get a nice, juicy, big attack in. So when he comes, we're ready for it. Oh, get out of here. Okay, got him off. There we go. So now he's in a very weakened state, which is wonderful for us. And he's coming back again. He's very uh, he's very uh, aggressively trying to get into me, which is unfortunate because it prevents me from doing any other works. America wants me to target the green player. That is, that is the last thing I'm going to do right now. There we go. Got him off again. Yes, let's go. Oh, I don't know why he did that, but I love it. Oh, buddy. Okay, now we got great borders on you, so I'm just going to push straight into you. Give me a big attack into you. Italy full sins on me. Understandable. Now the world's completely different, though. I'm going to need a lot of troops in order to save this. Italy full sending me was a big surprise. I can't believe that one just happened as America is going to attack me. But I do have so many pixels right now. I have almost 400,000 pixels. It's more than these two combined, so I just need to build up strength. I'll be soon stronger than America, and as soon as I'm stronger than America, his attacks are going to do less and less damage into me. So just continuously building up, building up my advantage is going to be huge for us, as be a good teammate is not at full strength himself, so he might honestly be a better target, but we'll just keep going from here. And we are close enough, so let's just push into you. Now, it'll be smarter to push into this guy, but this uh, Be A Good Teammate is so weak right now that I'm going to prevent him from building up to his maximum potential. So, save myself a little bit of grief as we, we will be attacked by this guy, but I, I have the utmost confidence we'll be able to get this done in time. But we'll keep saving up, trying to get to maximum interest, keeping this player down. It's perfectly fine. We'll give a counterattack there. There we go. And he's down to 10 million troops, which is really good for us. Again, just continuously saving up our troops. We have very much bullied this man. And we'll see if we can trick America into overextending. I'm not too concerned about him. He's only at 200,000 pixels. Again, we're closer to 40. And this guy's almost dead. A couple more attacks into him is going to just completely wipe him off the board. So he's down to 5 million now. He does become a bot, which the bot might attack him. Now he's attacking the bot, which is perfect for me. It gives me a little bit more time to save up and grab all of the land. Wonderful, wonderful. And now... Now we get revenge. Oh, you ruined my revenge arc. <laughs> but we take him out as well. Who is this? Is this? Oh, that's just a little bot. But as we wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you've made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.